Party people, in the place to be. Yes, it's me again. I'm rattling off another reaction video. Uh, just cause I'm so in love with myself and all this right here. Uh, and just cause I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you very much. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna look at another uh, trailer to another anticipated movie. Uh, Ted Two. Now, uh, I don't know much about Ted Two. Um, I didn't really hear too much in pre-production. Uh, other than I think Mila Kunis isn't involved in this one, which is an interesting choice because of all the hullabaloo that Mila Kunis' character brought up or brought into the first one, uh, you know, and how integral she was, but how divisive she was because she was kind of a, she was written kind of as a bitch uh, <laughs> through most of the movie. Um, but I mean, you know, it's, I, I, it's, I, I, I don't, it's interesting. So, obviously, Mark Wahlberg will probably have a new love interest uh, in this one. And let's see what the trailer for Ted 2 has to offer us. Still not drinking because I'm still recovering. Jesus Christ! Second time I've done trailer reactions where somebody labeled the trailer uh, to the fucking next move to the previous movie. How? Why, what the fuck is wrong with you people? All right, th this is from IGN. This is updated a day ago, so this one I think will be correct, and it starts now. Fuck you, YouTube fucks! What are you doing, you idiots? Jesus. Happily ever after only exists in fairy tales. Yet a talking teddy bear is about to marry his girlfriend. I now pronounce you teddy bear and wife. Make your stand. Mm. Proving that Americans don't give a crap about anything. So I got some big news. Tammy Lynn and I are gonna have a baby. That's awesome. Wait, how do you guys... That's the thing. We need a donor. <laughs> You haven't smoked for two whole days, right? I told you, I'm clean, all right? Your baby's gonna be fine. All right, I'm sorry. I just don't want something I gotta feed with a pitchfork when he's 16. Oh my God, Teddy, look at this. It says if we want to have a baby, you're gonna have to prove you're a person in a court of law. This is a nightmare. We gotta fight it. We'll get a lawyer, and we'll sue the government for your civil rights. That's the power. <clears throat> Samantha Jackson. It must be Ted. Uh, yeah, Samantha Jackson. What, what's your middle name? Leslie. Oh my God, you're Sam L. Jackson. That's right, I mean, just like Sam L. Jackson. Who is that? You ever seen any movie ever? He's the black guy. They've denied you the same rights as everybody else just because you're different. Can you get me my life back? Ted, do you believe you have a soul? <clears throat> what did you think I would do at this moment? Objection. Overruled. You better want to be human in the eyes of hmm. the law. The important thing about more three minutes for this one. making a contribution to society. Hey, take that! <laughs> what the hell's your problem? That's what you'll get for exercising! <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you these next questions. Are you ready? Yep, bring it on. Do you consider yourself to be human? Objection. Sustained. No, the witness can adjust. Overruled. Sidebar. Guilty. Speculation. Hearsay. Bailiff. Briefcase. Disregard. In my chamber. Stop beaver on the witness. Arrest. We could totally be lawyers. All right. Ah. Uh, it, uh. Meh. It looks... It looks, uh, the thing about the first one was the first one, the first, the trailer for the first one was everything about the first one was so well done from the trailer to the movie's execution. Um, the trailer let you know enough about the film that you were intrigued without giving away everything in the plot. And it demonstrated a Ted that people liked it, one with uh, much rougher edges than he has here it seems like it seems like mcfarland wants to uh make ted more for some reason more commercially viable more mainstream even though it was a number one movie and millions and millions of people loved it and, and it made tens of millions of dollars hundreds of millions of dollars uh he's going for a more mainstream ted which isn't quite ted so i don't know i'm not 
I don't know. Like, and it's giving away way too much of the plot. Like, I know everything that's going to happen now uh, before it happens. Whereas in the first one, I didn't know what was going to happen. I just knew there was this foul mouth talking bear who was clearly foul mouth and like clearly a party animal and clearly all these things that intrigued millions and millions of people to go see it in the first place. It seems like Ted's gone a little. S A W F T. So the edges aren't completely off, but mm. bar was set so high with the first one that if you're not gonna do it with the second one, then it's a little it's a little disappointing. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe if another trailer comes out that looks a little like the Ted of old that we remember. You know what I mean? Like I, I get like I've seen a couple of people say that oh they can't wait to see it. I can I can wait a little bit. Like it's not it's 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 not like the first trailer where it was like where it reached out grabbed me and said you are going to go see this movie. This trailer is kind of been there done that. Maybe another trailer will get me more intrigued, but this one I had, I gotta say I'm out of five uh, interest level. 2.5. It's very average. Like everything I'm seeing today is average. Um, hopefully, uh, is is average to you know. It's, I'm on the fence about. Let me know if you're gonna see it. I may or may not see it depending on what the next trailer says. Like, subscribe, and as always, hashtag cancel Ghostbusters three. Hashtag cancel Ghostbusters reboot. Peace.